going to take this double-breasted women's jacket and turn it into a jacket that could be used for a prince or for a band leader or for anybody else who needs to have a little bit of a uniform and a little bit of bling. Um, this is a size 20 tall. It's a double-breasted jacket. It, I have already pre-washed this on cold, gentle, and hung it to dry. This was an older jacket, so washing it did cause a few problems. You can see that the um, shoulder pads are a little bit um, uneven here and kind of messed up. Um, the other thing it did is the lining shrunk a little bit, and you can kind of see how it's pulling right here, and it's most apparent back here in the back where the lining is pulling. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I may end up cutting the jacket off shorter to get rid of this problem. I also possibly may take the back of the jacket in. Um, I'm going to have to work with that as I go. Uh, one thing I do know that I want to do is to close this up. I want this to be a closed front jacket and this is going to work really good because I can put the collar up on this and I'm going to be able to um, put this down like this and so we're going to have that nice um, uniform jacket look. It totally changes what we're working with. So now I'm going to look for some embellishments. I'm going to um, play around with these shoulder pads and see what I can do. And I'm also going to consider what I'm going to do about the bottom of this jacket. The first thing I decided to tackle was the length. I measured and then I folded up the bottom of the jacket and I pinned it. There's some extra fabric, but I just pleated it up and we'll just ignore it for now. I put it on the dress form to see if I liked the length, and I did. I decided to cut it off at the level of the pockets, so I tucked the flaps in, and then I zigzagged those flaps shut. After this, I trimmed the bottom of the jacket up, and then just hemmed it. These are the shoulder pads that I kind of messed up going through the wash. You can see that the old ones are malformed. So I cut these out and I replaced them with a pair of shoulder pads that I had cut out from doing a previous upcycle. I just stitched them in right there at the shoulder seam. It made the jacket look much better. It's hemmed now and it is with the new shoulder pads. I'm pleased with how this looks and so now it's time to look for some embellishments. I dug through my stash and found a variety of different trims in gold. I decided to use some iron-on gold thread motifs to decorate the collar and the front of the jacket. Here I'm getting ready to put to iron them on. I'm going to iron them down using a Teflon ironing sheet. I position it and I put my iron down and I push down and give some pressure to help seal the motifs down. After I'm done, I'm going to check to make sure that all the little edges have been secured. As I get ready to add trim to the front of the jacket, I want to know where the overlap is. I'll also use this as a guide for putting on Velcro. I use a friction pen because it disappears with heat, which is really nice. You can see I've started putting the motifs on. I had a lot of trouble doing this because the lapels are a little bit off center and the double breasted buttons were throwing me off. So I did a lot of measuring. I measured from the shoulder and I measured from the shoulder seams and I also measured from the side of the jacket. This is a case where once you've ironed it on, it's kind of stuck, so you just keep measuring until you think that you've got it on there right. Once I was happy with where it was, I got my Teflon sheet and I sort of just gave it a little bit of a tack down with the iron to make sure that I was happy with where it was. And then you just repeat and repeat. jacket to this point. You'll also notice I added a little bit of gimp braid around the collar. The next thing to work on were the epaulets. 
I made a paper pattern and made sure I liked it. Then I cut it out of my glitter leather, first in one direction, and then I flipped it around to make a mirror image. Here are the finished epaulets on the jacket. I used the glitter leather and I sewed a little bit of fringe around the edge and then I trimmed them with some more of the metallic gimp. Very simple. And then I just attached it up at the shoulder. I stitched more gimp around the sleeves for trim. And then I decided to work on the sash. For my sash, I am using satin and I am cutting two strips eight inches wide. And these will fold in half to make a, about a three and a half inch wide sash. I just follow along with my ruler cutting toward the correct inch marks. Once I had my two strips cut out, I stitched them together to make one long strip and then I sewed it along the long side. Here I am using a bodkin to turn it inside out. This might have been easier to do using a string, but this worked. And eventually, after a lot of squishing, I was able to reach the other side. And then I'm trying to be really careful so my bodkin doesn't come loose. And you get it just to the right point, and then There it goes, inside out. Next, I pressed it, and then once it was pressed, I put the open end together, and I'm gonna sew it at an angle, just like this, and reinforce it. And this is going to make my sash. Here the jacket is, with the sash just plain. We like that all right, but we thought that it could use a little bit of bling, because everything can use more sparkle. Our finished jacket. It has epaulets here, they just raise up. I just attached them here. If you were doing a lot of dancing, you might need to add a safety pin or maybe a little bit of Velcro right there. The sash is loose, it just splits under there and it should stay. It closes with a little bit of Velcro up here. And our print is ready to go to the ball. Depending on your prints, you might need to take this in just a little bit, but I'd leave it like this until I was actually fitting it on someone. And there you have it. A quick, simple upgrade of a lady's white jacket into a prince costume. I hope this inspires you to try making a prince jacket of your own. And if you'd like more information or more detailed explanation of how I did things, you can find it on my blog at www.costumecrazed.me. Thanks for watching.